Almost half of the world's wealth is now owned by 1% of the population. Seven of ten people live in countries where economic inequality has increased in the last 30 years. 85 of the world's wealthiest people own as much as half of the world's population. Issues of inequality may lead a person to the biggest unofficial settlement in Santiago, Chile. It's located right in the middle of a high-income class district. Poor people are forced to sell their land and as a result must move to the outskirts. This means that they will lose their jobs, they will join the marginalized mass of very low-income society and they will stay in that place for many generations to come. The point is to convince underprivileged people not to leave this area. Staying on this land is the only way to improve the level of living for those people and to reduce the social gap in the next generations. Yo me quedaría aquí en esta casa, pero tengo familia que tiene 7 8 hijos, ¿qué van a hacer? After coming back from the exchange program in Chile, I felt a huge need to tackle this issue. Polarization of society is a global problem and this project presents a universal solution that could be applied in many different places. With the use of architectural thinking and analytical tools, the project is able to detect the problems and address them in very precise ways. The idea is to keep the entire existing urban structure fulfilling the inhabitants' basic needs by providing water, electricity, and the possibility to build multi-story structures. And to do all this in the cheapest way and be fully compatible with inhabitants' wishes and without any damage to existing green spaces. With this project, the government of Chile has the opportunity to liberate de eh, la vivienda social apegada al libre mercado y generar una vivienda social que pueda ser más grande, más equitativa y más participativa. The proposal is to build supply towers which contain toilets and kitchens connected by stairs and a concrete structure with a roof. Everything is made of a standard Chilean beams and columns. Each structure is designed according to the owner's wishes with a rule to follow existing urban flow. Typical social housing in Chile consists of $20,000 55-square-meter flat per family. This solution, for the same money, can easily give 160-square-meter bare structure. All the fillings are up to the inhabitants. With this simple move, inhabitants of low-income areas are transforming into the owners of solid structures. Their wealth increases as the real estate prices of this land also increase. With time, they may upgrade their structure, rent some space, open businesses or get a loan on their house, allowing their kids to go to a good school. The result is an architectural symbol of resistance that may stop the polarization of society and improve the standard of living for future generations. The project is very simple, but it demands a significant change in thinking. So remember, don't sell yourself short.